But we begin with new developments in the trial over Rebecca Zahau's mysterious death at the Coronado Mansion. The prosecution resting its case while we got to hear the 911 call for the first time. The case is a wrongful death suit brought against the brother of Zahau's boyfriend by her family. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live. And Steve, the defendant was calm as he answered many pointed questions today. Most of the time you ask him, there were only a couple of times where it got a little bit uh, heated, not much, and the judge directed him, listen closely and answer only the question that is asked. <laughs> Snippets of the 911 call played for the jury in the wrongful death lawsuit Zahau versus Shacknai. Adam Shacknai is accused of killing his brother's girlfriend, Rebecca Zahau. Her body, nude, bound, and gagged, was discovered hanging from a balcony of the famous Spreckles Mansion in Coronado that July morning in 2011. He's the one who called police. Adam Shacknai testified that he climbed onto a broken patio table to sever the rope that was hanging her. I cut her down, I had her one arm and cut with the other. You can hear him grunting on that 911 call. Okay, so what are you doing now? If I had to speculate, I'd say it's probably the sound of me cutting her down and at some point jumping off the table with her. A police investigation at the time ruled her death a suicide. Rebecca was caring for the six-year-old son of her boyfriend, millionaire Jonah Shacknai, when the boy fell from a second-story landing and was critically hurt, dying a few days later. Her family, though, thinks she was murdered in revenge and brought suit against Adam Shacknai when there was no criminal prosecution. There were no specified monetary damages named in this suit. Trials expected to last a couple more weeks. Live downtown, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.